So there's a whole silly thing going on right now about Donald Trump and his refusal to debate Kamala Harris at the ABC debate that was already agreed to on September 10th. Now, he claims the ABC News debate set for September 10th was, quote, terminated. But the Harris campaign says that's just not true. I think it shows that he's terrified mm -hmm. of debating somebody as good as Kamala Harris. I think it shows that he wants to do it uh, on Fox, he wants to do it with an audience mm -hmm. because those two things are like security blankets for him. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And why did the orange chicken cross the road? To avoid being the main dish while debating Kamala Harris, of course. It seems the self-proclaimed master of debates has chickened out. The ageless question, what happened to anywhere, anytime, now that has a hilarious new twist. Are you gonna debate her? Well, I want to. And we're leading in the polls, it seems, by quite a bit still. Uh, she's better than he is, but I think ultimately she'll be worse than him. She's more radical than him. He was a phony. I got one word for that. Wuss. He is a wuss. He is scared of her. She will run circles around him, and he knows and he that. Knows it. Yes, you heard it right. The man who loves to talk big is now running away from a debate like a scaredy cat. What are some of the first words that come to mind when you hear the name Donald Trump? Do the terms character, honesty, integrity, or dependability come to mind? Do you envision someone who embodies the persona of service above self? I think we can all agree that unless you're still drinking the MAGA Kool-Aid like Republican mouthpieces in the media, we can all answer with a resounding hell no. I think that she should say, I'll debate him on Fox on the night mm. of September 18th. Because I happen to know he's going to be in Manhattan on the 18th because that's when they're going to sentence him. So if you want to have a debate, let's have it on Fox and let's have it September the 18th when he's in an ankle bracelet. Trump loyalists think that verbal gymnastics like deflection and denial will win for Team Trump but they are delusional and defensive when challenged. It doesn't matter to them that they are fighting over mean tweets sent from Trump's golden toilet in the middle of the night. The truth is that Donald Trump is running scared. He's terrified of facing a younger, more enthusiastic and energetic opponent who outclasses him and outperforms him on every level. The issue at hand is a previously agreed upon presidential debate on ABC. The debate initially scheduled against sleepy Joe Biden changed when Biden decided not to run for re-election and endorsed Kamala Harris. This sent shockwaves through MAGA Nation where many had already invested thousands of dollars in custom wraps for their Ford F7000s and F Joe Biden tattoos and signs. Now, some business owners are even considering lawsuits over their suddenly worthless inventory. What a bunch of knuckle-dragging morons. Trump is trying to back out of the debate, citing litigation against ABC's network and George Stephanopoulos as a conflict of interest. It's a cowardly move, reminiscent of his usual blame-shifting tactics. The typical Trump supporter would claim it's all the Democrats' fault, however, without any supporting facts, delving into a library of hurt feelings and grudges to justify their contempt. His shields in the media are just there to push his agenda to overthrow our democracy and incite the undereducated. Now, he agreed to this debate months ago with Joe Biden. Obviously, Kamala Harris is now going to be the Democratic nominee. Instead, what he has proposed is a Fox News debate with a big audience, not the ABC debate that was already agreed to. So anyone who's saying Trump has proposed a debate that she's not agreeing to is missing the fact that he's already agreed. He'd already agreed to a debate with the Democratic nominee, who was supposed to be Joe Biden, and now he's trying to back out of it. Donald Trump backed out when he found out he was be facing Kamala Harris. First, he tried to claim it was a bait and switch, but the truth is Biden stepped down before the Democratic National Convention. There was nothing shady unlike the spectacle that the RNC was. This honesty from Biden drove MAGA supporters over the edge, as they had framed their entire RNC script around the declining cognitive abilities of elderly men and their fitness to be president. Now, they face a serious case of buyer's remorse with their own aging candidate and a VP pick who is a dumpster fire. Trump's claims that he's in litigation against ABC is just another excuse to avoid facing Harris. If he were so tough, why is he always blaming Democrats for his problems? Why did he get five deferments in Vietnam? Trump supporters can't see these facts because they are caught up in their own delusions and incapable of admitting that they might be wrong about something. Trump has chickened out plain and simple, and the question, what happened to any time, anywhere? Now the plot has a new twist. Donald Trump is running like a scaredy cat from a face-to-face -face encounter with Kamala Harris. The man who talks big is now avoiding a debate like a coward. Now they're back talking about her race, about her gender. It is almost impossible to get him away from that at this point. And attacking the identity of the vice president uh, is shameful.
and attacking the identity of the vice president doesn't at all reflect negatively on Vice President Harris, but shows a real insecurity about Donald Trump. Listen, this guy is nervous as hell to face Kamala Harris. He's already trying to back out of the debate. Did you notice that? Part of that is because he knows she's going to whoop him in the debate. Trump is running scared, and if he had any backbone, he would accept the challenge instead of trying to drag Kamala Harris into a potentially hostile situation. Trump is a pathological liar and egomaniac, and his supporters are just like him. If you still support Trump, you're either uninformed or complicit. It's time to call out Trump for what he is, a scaredy cat running from a debate with Kamala Harris. I can't imagine how much ketchup he's going to throw at the wall by this point. He's probably going to go through his golden diapers at a very furious pace. What's truly scary about all of this is that Donald Trump and the Harris Heritage Foundation has been suggesting that there's a plan in place in case they lose. Folks, we all know at this point that Donald Trump losing and going to prison are real possibilities now. They know it and are fighting tooth and nail to keep a hold on their crooked way of governance and their money. Donald Trump and the Republican Party are not fighting for America. They are fighting to keep Donald Trump out of jail. This is the best they can do for America? Cutting every program that regular Americans rely on? Cutting the military and gutting Social Security? Project 2025 needs to stay on the front burner. It is a manifesto aiming to reshape America into a dictatorship. Republicans are now claiming that the election is about policy now and not age. Let's keep their feet to the fire and remind them that Project 2025 or Agenda 47 or whatever they want to dress it up as is a horrible policy. Should Kamala Harris show up to the original agreed upon debate and lay out her vision for America? unopposed by the demented ramblings of a convicted felon who wants to make the election all about himself? Why not? Donald Trump is too old and too scared anyway. Donald Trump doesn't think that showing up is important. So let's have the real leader show up and do the job for the American people. Trump is scared to death of getting beat by not only a strong woman, but a woman of color. And that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.